The Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. place we can have lunch. It's a little inn. It's very quaint. It has a beautiful waterfall and a picturesque bridge. Oh, that sounds romantic. Yeah. Ooh, I better get this stuff all out of here. Huh? I'll help you. There he is. Oh, I better go comb my hair and fix my face. Yeah. Unless you'd rather have me stay around here for contrast. <laughs> Hi, Luz. Hi, Gary. Do you mind if I turn on television? Television? Yeah, they're televising the Las Vegas golf tournament. Oh. I was listening to it on the car radio. It got so exciting, I had to see the finish. Sit down. This is really something. Boy, that Arnold Palmer, is he hot today? You know, on the front nine, he had three birdies, two eagles, and a double eagle? Well, good for Arnold. You're speaking from the green of the 18th hole. Jack Nicholas has an 11-foot putt. Arnold Palmer is away. I would gather for about a 30-foot putt. All Palmer has to do to walk off with top money is to sink that putt. Say, Gary, I was just thinking, after Palmer sinks this putt, maybe we could take a drive into the country. Shh! <laughs> I was saying, after Palmer sinks this putt. He's lighting up the putt. Sorry, Arnold. It's in. Palmer's the winner. He did it! He did it! Oh! He did it! Oh, what a game! What a game! Oh. Boy, that's what I call golf. Yeah, boy, that's what I call golf, too. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you letting me come here to see the finish on television. Oh, that's all right. Think nothing of it. My TV is your TV. Oh, thank you. Say, I was just thinking, Gary, um, it would be fun to drive out in the country and maybe have lunch at a cute little place that I heard about. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Why don't you do that? <laughs> oh, Gary, oh, I have I, to uh... go. My foursome tee's off in about ten minutes. You're playing golf today? Well, it's Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Saturday, all right. Oh, listen, don't forget about our date tonight. I'll pick you up at 7.30. Okay. Here I come, ready or not. <laughs> Where's Gary? Gone to play golf. Where else? I thought he was going to take you for a ride in the country. So did I. Well, I just can't understand it. I started downstairs a few minutes ago, and he was hugging and kissing you. <laughs> Only because Arnold Palmer sank a 30-foot putt. Huh? <laughs> Gary only came by so they could see the finish of a golf tournament on television. Some romance this is. Oh, well, you're all right as long as Arnold keeps sinking those putts. <laughs> How can a grown man care so much about taking a little stick and hitting a little ball into a little hole? I'm so sick of golf, golf, golf. Hey, you're really upset. Well, I got a right to be upset. I'm very fond of Gary, and I could grow a lot fonder if I could just get him off the golf course. Oh, well, you'll never do that. Listen, did you happen to notice what the weatherman predicts for tomorrow? By any chance, are we going to have a nice, lovely monsoon? <laughs> 
I'm afraid it's going to be sunny and warm again. Oh, boy, this is one of the worst winters we've ever had. <laughs> Say, Lucy. What? Have you ever considered taking up golf? Have you ever considered washing your mouth out with soap? <laughs> yeah, I mean it. Gary's never going to give up the game, so you may as well learn to play. Oh, Viv. Now, Lucy, at least that way you could spend some time with him. Well, now, that's a thought. Sure. You could uh, join the club and take lessons from the pro. Viv, I wonder how long it takes to learn how to play golf. Now, you said yourself. All you have to do is take a little stick and hit a little ball into a little hole. Yeah, can't be too tough, or Arnold Palmer couldn't have done it from 30 feet away. That's right. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Good girl. Good morning, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, good morning, Mr. Carter. How was your game? Well, I'm very happy that Mrs. Bagley is here as a witness, or you wouldn't believe me. Really? What did you shoot? A hundred and fifty-three. A hundred and fifty-three? Yes, and, and that's better than yesterday. Yesterday I got a hundred and sixty-five. I'm improving. Well, this being your sixth round, I guess we can give you your official handicap. Oh, good. I'm going to get a handicap. What's that? Well, it's a... You see, Mrs. Bagley, a handicap gives the lesser golfer a break so that he can compete with a better golfer. You see, Viv? Your handicap, Mrs. Carmichael, is 36. That's... is that good? Well, let me put it this way. It's the highest we give. Oh, you see, Viv, I got the highest and I just started. <laughs> Come on, let's freshen up. I want to go over and watch Gary tee off. Okay. Well, you'd better hurry up. He tees off in a few minutes. Okay, okay. Lucy? What? Did you tell Gary you were taking lessons? Yes, and he was so thrilled, he said, someday I can play in a foursome with him. He did. Uh-huh, as soon as I break a hundred. That'll probably take me a couple weeks. <laughs> Girl, I have an idea. By the time you break a hundred, you'll be too old to remember why you took up golf in the first place. <laughs> It's gonna be some tournament. Practically every big name golfer in the country is here. Yeah, we're gonna make a bundle for charity. Boy, it's gonna be great to see some real golf on this course for a change. Hey, what do you think I've been doing out there every weekend? Playing kick the can? Oh, come on, Gary, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, you're right, Tom. The way those guys play, I am playing kick the can. Uh, you do okay. Oh, this is gonna be quite an experience. Just think, I'm gonna play golf with Jimmy Demerit and Bo Weininger. Hi, Tom. Oh, hi, Jimmy, how are you? Nice to see you. Gary Stewart, Jimmy DeMarit. Hi, Gary. I understand we're playing together. That's right, and it's quite a thrill for me, Jimmy. I've followed your career for years. I've seen you play at the National Open, the PGA, and at Pebble Beach, and the Masters in Augusta. I can't wait to see you get up there and hit that ball. Well, uh, I would hit the ball if the feeling ever comes back to my hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Bo. How you been? This is Tom Carter, the Poetry Club. Tom, Hello, how are you? Bo, how and are Gary you? Stewart, a member of our foursome. And uh, I wouldn't shake hands with him if you know what's good for you. Glad to know you. It's going to be quite an honor to play with you. Who's your partner today, Gary? A uh, friend of mine, Duke Niles. He's an eight handicap, not bad. Excuse me a minute, fellas. Sure. You're not a betting man, are you, Gary? Betting man, the way you guys play? You must be kidding. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll give you a stroke a hole plus your handicap. Is that all right with you, Jimmy? If my hand heals, a stroke a hole plus our handicap? Oh, boy, Christmas came early this year. Five dollars a hole, all right? It's a bet. And the winner gives all the money to charity. Good. Say, Gary. Yeah? We just got a call. Luke Niles has a virus, and the doctor won't let him play. Oh, no. Just when I had a couple of pigeons lined up. Look, I'll check the clubhouse. Maybe I can get you a substitute. Good. Call the bet off, huh, Gary? Call a bet off? Not on your life. With a stroke a hole plus our handicap? Why, with a setup like that, Bo, I can play with anybody and beat you. I'll tell you what I'll do. The first person that walks around the corner of that caddy house, I'll take as a partner. <laughs> oh. Hey, we're playing with a lady. That's no lady. That's Lucy. Gary, I came to see you tee off. Hey, miss, are you a member of the club? Oh, yes. Do you play golf? Yes, sir. 
Oh, now, just a minute, fellas. She doesn't really play. I do so. I've had six whole lessons. Welcome to our foursome. <laughs> you mean you want me to play with you three in the tournament? That's right. Oh, I'd love to. Gary, the bet is on. Oh, now, just a minute, fellas. Chickening out? Lucy, this is Jimmy Demerit and Bo Weiniger. Nice to know you. Uh, you must be new at the club. Well, we've never played here before. Oh, well, uh, I, I'm a beginner, too. I hope Gary doesn't mind playing with three duffers. <laughs> Lucy, this is Jimmy Demerit and Bo, Bo Weiniger. Weiniger. Yes, I know, dear. It's going to be very nice playing with you. Uh, what's your handicap? Well, uh, we don't have a handicap. Oh, that's too bad. Well, maybe you'll get one later on. I've only been playing five days, and I have a handicap of 36. So you see, fellas, she couldn't possibly... 36? And my handicap is seven, and you're giving us a stroke a hole? That gives us a handicap of 61. Gentlemen, shall we tee off? Now, just a moment, Gary. Chickening out? Gary, I hope I play well enough to make you proud of me. Lucy, you're my kind of woman. A perfect 36. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Danfield Open. As you know, the proceeds from this tournament are donated to several worthwhile charities, and Danfield wishes to thank you all for your very enthusiastic support. And now, teeing off in the first foursome are Jimmy DeMerritt, Bo Weininger, Gary Stewart, and Lucy Carmichael. <laughs> well, fellas, ladies first. Shall we have Lucy Carmichael show us the way? Good idea, Carl. Okay, honey, you're up. Oh, good. I'm up. Firm grip. Firm grip. Uh, arm straight. Eye on the ball. And warm up a little. <laughs> I've never played with a lot of people watching me before. Forget it. Don't pay any attention to them. Could you ask them to all close their eyes? <laughs> Loosen up. Come on, relax. Okay. Maybe one of you gentlemen would like to go first. I don't think it's fair of a lady to take advantage of being a lady in a golf tournament. <laughs> okay. Jimmy, how about you showing us the way? Fine, Gary, if I still remember how. Weiniger do. Lucy, what? I'm standing this way because I play left-handed. Oh. Oh. Marvelous. 
Okay. Go ahead, Lucy. It's your turn. Come on, Bob. this first toe? I don't know, but I've got a feeling we should have brought sleeping bags. <laughs> well, don't worry, fellas. Lucy will be along pretty soon. What makes you so sure? We haven't even seen her for hours. To save time, why don't we put out? It's not against the rules. Who knows? We've been out here for so long, the rules have probably changed. <laughs> Look, Gary, why don't you just pay off now? No chance. The game isn't over until the last snake is killed. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Hi, Mr. Weininger. Hi, Mr. Demerit. How about that? She still remembers us. <laughs> hey, what happened to the gallery? They were here so long, they demanded a coffee break. <laughs> oh. Where's Viv? She went on home, but she told me to tell you she'd leave a light in the window. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Well, what do we do now? You're away, Lucy. Put out. Oh, I'm away. <laughs> Would you step back just a little, please? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Demerit. Oh, that's all right. It's very interesting. I haven't sliced in years. Well, I guess it's like swimming. Once you learn to slice, you never forget.
Jimmy, I'll bet you a buck that my hook went farther than your slice. <laughs> That's Marvy. Say, <laughs> I forgot to ask what your scores were on that last hole. Do we have to tell? Well, of course you have to tell. This is a tournament. Ten. <laughs> oh? Twelve. <laughs> Jimmy? Fifteen! <laughs> I got a seven. <laughs> well, gentlemen, shall we putt out? Oh, I'm away. We haven't finished the game yet. We don't need to. Lucy's polo shot went right into the cup. <laughs> we won? We won! Lucy, we beat Jimmy Demerit and Bo Weiniger! I know! Lucy, I love you!
Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Gee, I know a wonderful place we can have lunch. It's a little inn, it's very quaint, it has a beautiful waterfall and a picturesque bridge. Oh, that sounds romantic. Yeah. Ooh, I better get this stuff all out of here. Huh? I'll help you. There he is. Oh, I better go comb my hair and fix my face. Yeah. Unless you'd rather have me stay around here for contrast. <laughs> Hi, Luz. Hi, Gary. Do you mind if I turn on television? Television? Yeah, they're televising the Las Vegas golf tournament. Oh. I was listening to it on a car radio. It got so exciting, I had to see the finish. Sit down. This is really something. Boy, that Arnold Palmer, is he hot today. You know, on the front nine, he had three birdies, two eagles, and a double eagle? Well, good for Arnold. There's 